Hello Leo and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well and for those that are new to my channel a very warm welcome and cross watchers you are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading the roles can always be reversed so Leo apply it to your situation this is your reading. So let's get straight into your weekly love reading let's see what is happening in your heart space for this week last week of October. Who are you thinking about the most or who is thinking about you the most? What's happening in their heart space? Whether you're in connection or not, let's see. If this reading, Leo, does resonate with you, there will be an extended video available and the link to the extended is in the description box below. So just to not sound like a broken record, I do apologize for that, Leo. But for those that are new to my channel, the purpose of the extended reading, which is pretty full on, I use up to around six to seven different decks. I will be focusing 100% on your person, their true thoughts, feelings about you and the connection. What actions will they take? What other intentions? Outcome. And of course, you know, advice for both of you is moving forward. So if you stick around to the end of this video, you will see a, a glimpse into to your extended, 100% optional, but that's just diving a lot deeper only, you know, uh, into your person. We are, we're only going to be tapping into your person's energy and no one else's. All right. One more, actually, that didn't feel right. Perfect. For Leo, please, what's going on with Leo? Let's see. What card wants to keep coming? Oh, what is that? The Seven of Swords. Ooh. Trust could be an issue here. Have you been lied to, Leo? Or are you in denial about something? In denial maybe about your feelings? Let's see. What's going on? You'll be dealing with an Aquarius. You don't have to be. But, ooh, beautiful. Look at that. So we do have the chariot. Some of these could be in a long-distance relationship at the moment. Don't have to be. Uh, definitely with this chariot, I am picking up very strong Cancerian energy, but there is this kind of energy that your person wants this to work out. This is about success. This is the fastest moving major arcana, possibly the fastest moving energy in the entire deck. There are 78 cards. This could possibly be the fastest one. I do see that there is a desire for your person to really kind of see you face to face and work things out. Success. Oh, we have the devil. What's going on here? Hmm. Getting a sense of rejection here. What's going on? We have also the Devil card. We have Capricorn energy, and we also have the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. There definitely could be, I mean, maybe Leo, this could be you, this could be your person, but I'm kind of getting that someone is already involved in a relationship, in a commitment at the moment. Could be dealing with a karmic as well, and it could be quite toxic, quite unhealthy uh, as well. I'm also kind of Picking up that there was a lot of potential here to have you happily ever after with this person. But something got in the way. So either a karmic got in the way or something unhealthy, something toxic got in the way. There could be children and it resulted in you feeling rejected. With that five of pentacles. Could have been dealing here with the a king of cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Maybe you know this person through work or are connected through work. Capricorn energy. But they do want to be you know, Team Leo now. They want to be part of your team, work with you, not against you. Either way here, with that 10 of Wands, Sagittarius energy, your person is very stressed at the moment and they want to drop these burdens though. But I'm just thinking here, did your person up and leave you? Because you're feeling very rejected, very abandoned by this person. Or were they tempted by someone else? Are they dealing with the karmic? You know, I'm kind of sensing that there is already an established relationship here. So, Leo, are you the third party? Did you find out you're the third party or maybe you always knew or was it on their side? Either way, there was something unhealthy. There's something in the middle that caused this wedge between both of you, but your person still wants to work this out. Let's see. Yeah, there's definitely a third party. Three of Swords. So we have Libra energy. We have the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. The Queen of Swords, Air energy. Hmm. Three of Wands. Aries energy. A person could be at a distance as well. So the beating heart of the reading here is the Ace of Swords. Okay, we've got some clarity coming through now with this um, your, with your person. 
Judgment, Libra energy. Ooh, this is not over. I just have to say this. Oh, wow. All right. We've got the Page of Cups. Ooh, messages. Also, I got the Hermit Virgo energy, followed by the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. We've got change coming in. This is destined. So you're really hurt, Leo. It was definitely a third party. So I said that even before I saw this and I kind of intuitively felt that there was a third party. You know, was your person tempted by someone else with that devil card underneath uh, the bottom of the deck here? So I'm kind of feeling here that your person actually walked away from you or they emotionally disconnected, leaving you to pick up the pieces and forcing you to move on with your life. But lo and behold, you're quite angry. Now this, you do, you have a lot of unanswered questions. And you will be getting them because the beating heart of the reading is the ace of swords it's clarity it's truth and there is communication your person wishes to communicate something with you you don't have to entertain this person you don't have to entertain this conversation but for those that do maybe want to hear your person out or maybe seek a reconciliation for either healing or closure this is definitely your reading then but i have to say something though that your person is coming back it could be dealing with an aries it could be at a distance it doesn't have to be they know this is out of their control. This is the thing, is that the outcome is really up to you, Leo. You could actually say, yeah, you know, let's let's talk. They know this is out of, it's like, you know, once they initiate communication with you, because we do have that page of cups here, uh, it's going to be really up to you. It could go either way. Maybe you block them or maybe you want nothing to do with them. They don't know. According to them, it could go either way. But their goal, their desire for when they do want to come back to you, this could happen within possibly three months the ones do represent months is the ace of swords they want to provide you with truth clarity start over on a clean slate and not repeat the same mistakes from the past now we do have judgment libra energy they do want a second chance with you they've had a bit of a spiritual awakening here that walking away from you emotionally detaching ghosting you blocking you you know breadcrumbing you possibly even picking someone else over you was probably the worst mistake of their life they should have never ever ever rejected you they should have never abandoned you hence why you do have a sincere apology coming through with that page of cups wow mm -hmm. could be children involved here um, either you have children or maybe both of you have children together or your person has children We've got a lot of love messages after being quiet. I feel like it's been some time. I feel like it, for some of you, it's been either nine, like nine days, nine weeks, nine months, where you haven't actually even really kind of spoken. I, I feel like you are not on speaking terms. And if you are, it's only when necessary, for example. But look at this. You've got the destiny card, the wheel of fortune. They desire change to get the wheel moving again. I don't know how that makes you feel because, yeah, they really hurt you. They like super hurt you. Let's see. Hmm. Had split the deck. You have the world at the bottom and the Ace of Cups. So they want a brand new start with you. That is the true card of love. Yeah, more Cancerian energy with that Two of Cups. Look at that. They're not giving up on you. And if you have to be honest with yourself, Leo, I'd say you probably have a soft spot for this person and you do have emotions for this person. Absolutely. I feel like you're mirroring each other as well. So spontaneously, Leo, you know, you're just doing something randomly and you just stop and think about them. Most of the high chance that they're thinking about you as well. Let's clarify. So that three of swords, you know, listen, it's going to be different for everyone. Maybe it was cheating, like infidelity. Or maybe it was distance that was like the third party situation that kept you apart. Maybe it was work. It's going to be different for all of you. Either way, that is a card of heartbreak. So your heart was broken. And I feel like they walked away here. They chose to emotionally disconnect. But now, lo and behold, they come back and they need to tell you something. They need to get something off their chest. Let's see. I'm keeping that because that one wanted to be on its own. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Knights are all about messages. They're all about changes. So there is definitely a love offer here. They're presenting you with their cup of love, taking you out, making you feel all romantic again. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, oh, they do love you. They actually very well might be that brave enough to express it to you because i feel leo you're really healing you're taking care of yourself you're filling up your own cup right now you're using your intuition about this situation we've got the wheel of fortune 
twice. Maybe both of you actually do desire change. We also have the full Aries energy. They will be taking that leap of faith. They know it's a risky decision here. After whatever happened here, whatever chaos, you know, and the disconnection that happened, they do want to mend this because we do have the lovers, Gemini energy, deep soulmate connection here with the love is mutual. So if you really had to be honest with yourself, Leo, I feel like you still do love your person, but they deeply hurt you. That's, that's, that's a big one there. They are watching you though. You have the page of swords. Hmm. So social media, LinkedIn, old text messages, photos, they're watching you. They're kind of like waiting. They're like on standby, waiting for the right moment to say, okay, now I'll approach. Now, again, I will remind you, Leo, this, the roles can be reversed. So Leo, maybe you were the one that kind of walked away or detached from your person. But I'll be reading this now as if, you know, this is what your person has done. So let's clarify that three of swords with the king of bats and the three of ghosts. So now you do have your perfect match with the king of swords and the queen of swords. So communication at the moment is a problem with both of you. But that's going to come to an end. There is something that they really need to tell you something, which is what? We've got that three of cups again. Definitely showing me that, that there was a third party, but they do wish to have a reunion with you. Come together and celebrate and heal. See, the Three of Cups, Cancerian Energy, is all about healing, restoring that peace, that harmony that you really need. It. Your peace has been almost broken, shattered um, because of what they did, and they want to replace that. Mm. So let's clarify that Eight of Cups with the Four of Bats and the Emperor. We have Aries energy with the Emperor and we also have Libra energy with the Four of Bats or Four of Swords. So your person at the moment is kind of gathering up their energy. They could be feeling like literally mentally burnt out. Okay. They're really not going out gallivanting around town, having parties and all that. They're really kind of thinking and reflecting about what they did here, about walking away. But they will be taking action towards you. Strong Aries energy there with that Emperor. If you're dealing with the masculine, um, they could also have children as well. They could be a father figure here, business owner, decision maker. But yeah, most definitely they will be taking action towards you. Hmm. After they gather up their energy, they will need it. They know that. Their mental energy to face you, the truth. So let's talk about the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Bats, and the Eight of Bats. Gemini energy. So they're getting out of this energy and they're coming straight towards you. So... I feel like yeah, it's like they were feeling because of this third party. I feel like yeah, there was there was always a third party. That's how I'm always feeling. Is that you know they feel kind of a little bit trapped by the current circumstances, unable to move forward, unable to really express what it is that they want to tell you. But, but we do have that Queen of Swords, which is all about communication. Now you've got the fastest knight, the Knight of Swords. So it's like this is all mental entrapment. They don't care what's happening right now. Whatever they think is holding them back, even if they're losing hope in this situation, they're going to do something very spontaneous, something impulsive, and just going to come straight towards you and just talk. They need to, they need to express something to you before it's too late. So the, let, clarifying the three of ones with the star and the nine of cups goes. So we have, these are two wish cards. The star is ruled by Aquarius and the nine of ghost or cups is ruled by Pisces energy. So what do they wish to express to you? That you are their wish fulfillment. This is destiny. There, there is a reason why he's met. There is a reason why he's connected. And yes, it hasn't been easy. It's been super painful. But this can be healed. The, the star card is all about healing. And we've got a wish fulfillment here. Your person could be emotionally attached to you. This often happens if your person has experience some sort of emotional trauma in their past when they look to you it's like oh but i feel better now so yeah, they could be a little bit clingy there but you, honestly I, I have a feeling a lot of you would actually welcome this like you are each other's wish fulfillment wow they're trying to stay positive though they're trying to keep up the faith that everything's going to work out but it, yeah this has not been easy they really did a number on your heart hmm Clarifying the Ace of Swords, the Moon, and the King of Imps. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing also with a Sagittarius and a Leo. They're, they're looking to the past here about their past actions, but they will be taking action towards you. So 
you we've got the moon here pisces cancer energy so this is when you're in the dark about a lot of things things happening behind your back yes it can portend to you know lies and deceit as well where things are not as they seem um you know using your intuition it's telling you that something's not right but they're taking action towards you they're very passionate about you but because we are clarifying the ace of swords they will be shedding light on this. They're going to give you that clarity about why this happened, about that three of swords, about those lies, about why is it that you don't trust them? And they're crossing their fingers that, well, you're going to kind of like hear them to understand, then react. We'll see. So we've got the judgment card here, clarifying that with the eight of pumpkins and the two of bats. So we do have strong Virgo energy with the eight of pentacles. Some of you is very well maybe linked together through work, through finances. Um, maybe he's worked together so that could be a little bit awkward if you know this happened which I did see that it did if not your person really does want to well I mean this is the same message for all of you is that your person is coming back they want a second chance and they want to prove to you that they're going to put in the hard work that they have changed that they made a mistake but it's never going to happen again they want to put in the hours the love the loyalty the dedication they're just worried here that you've got one foot in one foot out unable to make a decision so if they do reach out because we are clarifying the judgment card of saying can we have a second chance is that well you're saying oh you know you, you left them on red basically and you'll respond in three days in a week which is torture for them it would actually break their heart but their decision here is also how do i approach leo they don't want to trigger you in a bad way it's like they want to approach you on a good day for example so clarifying also that page of cups with the four of ghosts and the ace of bats so you've got the ace of swords twice so this message is not only love messages it is also about clarity and also their regret about what they did your person could be feeling i mean we've got very strong cancerian energy to be honest air energy as well libra gemini aquarius so they could be feeling quite sad despondent depressed about what's been happening and they know that they just ruined this beautiful opportunity. And they don't know if they can ever get it back. Like, do you actually even respect them? Like, according to them, they're quite, um, they're feeling quite down, very ashamed of their actions. They could be over drinking as well. So let's clarify the hermit with a page of imps and the seven of bats. We've got more uh, fire energy and we also have Aquarius energy. They've, they've done a bit of soul searching. They do know that you don't trust them. This is about lying, cheating, stealing, being cunning. Um, it's also about self-denial as well. Maybe Leo, at the moment, you know, are you also in denial about how you feel about your person? Like, you know, you probably say, I hate them. I don't want to, I never want to be with them ever again. There's no way where this can be fixed because this could also be about lying to oneself as well. But we're still, you're still going to get a message though. A passionate message. But do you trust the messenger? That's what's happening here. That's a question. Trust is a huge issue here. Absolutely. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Imps and the Knight, the Nine of Bats. Sorry, they always sound the same when I say that. So Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. We have more um, Fire Energy and Gemini Energy. So your person that does realize that, well, I mean, you pretty much see them as someone unreliable, unstable, someone that comes in and out of your life. Um, very passionate though. They're kind of galloping towards you, but they're expressing something here. I feel like they're here to stay because they really regret what they've done. There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of fear about approaching you because they don't know what you're going to say. Are you going to give them a second chance? That's what they're worried about. Are you willing to say, okay, well, you really hurt me. Just don't do it again. Like, it, it, Let's see. See, look what they're worried about with that nine of bats. That nothing will come of this situation. See? Hmm. Question is, Leo, what do you want from this person? You know, do you, do you want closure? Do you want all your questions answered? Do you want a reconciliation? Do you want to start over again? The thing is, it's just that they deeply hurt you. That's what's happened here. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're going to be bold and they're going to make the first move. Or well, Leo, if you've been feeling that urge to make the first move, this is a sign to do it. Let's see. Could be dealing with a Virgo. You are good enough. So especially this happens when if your person chose someone else over you and you look at yourself, well, I'm not good enough. There was something wrong with me. No, 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 no. You are good enough. You've always been good enough. 
okay waxing moon this energy the energy is gaining momentum there's change happening here they will be taking action followed by you could be dealing with a cancer okay a personal issue reaches resolution beautiful so what i'm interested to see in your extended now when this happens here this reaching out to you what's going to happen beyond this so bear with me uh leah i'm going to pause the video right now and when i unpause it you'll see uh, a glimpse of your extended just one second all right welcome back leo as you can see the setting is all different i have six different decks i know it's a lot of cards there's a lot to get through but just to reiterate especially for those that are new to my channel the extended is 100 optional so i will just be focusing 100 only on your person their thoughts feelings actions intentions what are hidden agendas or what else should you know for your highest good the outcome and advice for both of you is moving forward. So I will be starting off with the tarot. I'll be clarifying with more tarot. I'll be using Amira's Love Oracle cards. Um, we do get some uh, unique character and personality traits here about your person. Also, the Yes and No Oracle cards. We can often get also some timing as well of roughly when you can expect things to unravel and unfold. And the Romance Angel Oracle cards, beautiful messages and advice for both of you moving forward. And my favorite deck, and I'm sorry for those <laughs> that are regulars and I do sound like a broken record, this is my favorite deck. Simply because if your person could say anything to you right now, if they could express what was in their heart without fear of rejection or judgment, what would they say to you? So we're going to find out and the messages are gonna be right here for you. So the link to the extended is below, but if this is where we de depart, Leo, I wish you the very best. And if this did resonate with you, I hope healing, happiness, all those wonderful things are, are yours already. Wherever you turn, may it always there be there um, for you. So until next time, Leo, please take care of yourself. Bye.